Welcome back to Core Data Course. My name is Andy. On the previous lecture, we have successfully improved our app by refactoring our data model. So on this lecture, we're going to see how we can improve our car inventory app even further. So let's get started. First, let's do a quick review on the performance of our app currently. So I'm going to select the product and then profile. And we're going to see how long it takes for the app currently to load our object. So select core data, then choose. And I'm going to click the recording. And then click stop. So right now about six seconds and it pulls the entire 91 records. So the fact that the app pulled down all the records from data store is very inefficient. In our collection view, initially we probably only show about six to eight cars. And it would be better performance if we only pull down about 12 to 16 cars. So the rule of thumb is we pull down about double the amount of cars being shown initially. And as the user scrolls down, we are fetching more data as necessary. So let's go back to our code. I'm going to close the profile. So if we open, let me expand this. So if we open inventory collection view controller, we notice that the car surface right now is responsible on pulling down our car inventory. So if you see in the services folder, we have a car surface that Swift. And inside the car surface, we have the get car inventory function. That's basically pull down all the car object that we have on the data store. And there is no predicate or any batch size setting currently set. In order for us to only pull down certain number of cars, we can set our fat size using fat batch size on our fetch request. So this way, the data is unloaded per batch size we determine, and the rest will be on demand. So what I'm going to do, right after we initialize our fetch request, we're going to set the batch size. So request fetch batch size. I'm going to set it to 16. That means the first 16 record will be fetched from data store when the app is initially running. And then if user scroll down, the app will fetch more records as necessary. So let's now build and run our app. And we should see the same list that we saw before. And there is no different from the user experience. Now we're going to see the profile. So select product and then profile. And select core data and choose. Now I'm going to select record. And I'm going to bring our simulator back. And we're going to scroll down and watch the screen over here as we scroll down. And then I'm going to click stop. And now let's look the result more closely. So the first fetch is showing 91. The big difference now is instead of fetching 91 objects, it is only getting the count of how many objects we have. So that's why it only took about 400 milliseconds. If we go back to previous lecture before any tuning is in place, if I'm not mistaken, it took about 50 something seconds to pull the 91 records. And then the next fetch is showing 16 records at a time. So the fetch bed size that we set earlier works. So we cut down from initially about 50 to 60 seconds to pull down 91 records to six seconds. And now on average, it's only about less than three seconds. So from 60 seconds to about three seconds, that's almost like 95% improvement on our app. And then when your user scroll down, 
to get another 16 record it gets even less it less than two seconds and then when you sort of even further scroll down it takes less and less number of seconds to get the data and if we total we got five group of 16 that's equal to 80 and then plus 11 that's total up to the 91 records so we're going to stop here and on the next lecture we will see how to effectively using predicate in tuning up our app performance so until next time